All right, guys. It is our second anniversary. Second. Oh, wow. Look at us wearing our rings. <laughs> it's so weird. I've always worn fake engagement rings because I want to be married so bad. And now that I'm married, like, I literally never wear rings. I guess I'm always in the house and also it's, like, so big. And... I never, ever wear rings. Huh? I'm trying to find that sun. Oh, where's the sun? I need to clean it. No, I love wearing my ring. I actually love wearing my ring. It's just, like, it is so big. I actually do wear it a lot more. I mean, now that I'm pregnant, it's probably going to get swollen. But um, I just love being married, actually, more than the ring itself. I just love being married. Just knowing I have a husband. And, aw, two years, babe. We made it. <laughs> People don't even think we would get married, you know? Well, wouldn't make it down the altar. You know, as I give them a month. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I give Before them, we even got just when we met. Yeah, I give it a month. I mean, it is... It is kind of crazy to think about how all I put my life online, like all my relationships end in disaster, and I am like in a amazing. It's probably hard for people to believe. They're probably just like, wait, this doesn't seem. It's hard for me to believe, you guys. Let me tell you. Mmm. So, for our anniversary, my husband took me to McDonald's. <laughs> He's like, babe, I know where you want to go. I know we got married at the Four Seasons, but we really wanted to do. McDonald's. So I always think of like there was a proposal where someone put their ring in the nugget. <laughs> and I was like, what a great idea. What a great way to be. Oh man, I haven't had nuggets actually in a while. I, I mean, that. whenever it's with food, it's dangerous. Oh yeah. Like risky. When they put it in like the dessert or when they put it in the champagne or something. Yeah, we saw one that was in the champagne. And, and also after that, it's like it's sticky and dirty and what, like it's not. I think that was on Marrying Millions, mm -hmm. and I was like, why? Yeah, the champagne one was there. What did you get to drink, babe? My usual black water. <laughs> black water? Oh, yeah, you don't usually drink with me, do you? Um, we just found out. What do we say? Not say, but do we say we found out the gender? Or, like, I guess we're doing a gender reveal so people won't be as excited because we'll be like, we already know. Well, when... <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't say the gender, but should we say we... Yeah, of course we can say that. No, <laughs> we know. Doesn't but mean you know. Our family doesn't like when we know because, like, no, you're supposed to be surprised. But we think gender that's reveals good. are for other people. Yes. We right. just want to know right away on the phone. No, and that's what also made it exciting. Last gender reveal, the reason, like, I felt it and I was so excited was because everyone else found out mm -hmm. at that moment and with us and seeing their excitement and their. Oh, yeah, we're doing multiple gender reveals. We're going to do one for our family, we're going to do one for the podcast. I want to do just like a cute aesthetic one for TikTok with the cups and the cake. Because no matter what, I'll still be shocked and surprised every time we say it. <laughs> we just found out, even though we were kind of sure, because our doctor kind of saw in our last ultrasound what it, what the baby was. We were kind of sure, but still, hearing on the phone, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's funny, people are not going to make assumptions because of that. What did I say? No, it's going to be funny how they'll make... What did I say? Because what I find is that people <laughs> have an idea about everything. Mm. So like... The way we eat, the way we look, the way they do, like everything. <laughs> so like, the doctor says something that oh. then to be like, wait for the doctor Should I edit to it? see. No, no, I'll keep it because oh, I think it's it. just funny. Like, <laughs> oh, if the doctor saw that means that he saw this, or he couldn't see that, so that means it's that. Well, you see something between. You always see something. But if there's something, then it's a. Oh, you know I know what see, I mean. But... Like, people will think, well, if there's something, then it must be that. <laughs> Leave your guesses below them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, either way I was going to be shocked Like I really was I, I'm shocked, but either way I was going to be shocked <laughs> So um, More than anything We know now that the baby is healthy So Actually yeah We did the genetic testing And we do that mostly just to like Prepare if something like is complicated Like there's complications or something that's going to be at birth So it's just to prepare, so we did that Otherwise we probably wouldn't Also to find out the gender I guess too but this looks like it's a small world, this cup. Do you see? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So. Oh my gosh. What? I just feel like oh. <laughs> It's fine. I'm wearing black. Oh man, love that. And I just spilled so some of this. for the podcast today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a podcast too. It's so crazy. We're doing photo shoots before the podcast because it's like, I don't want to just glam just for a photo shoot. So I've been booking guests on the thing, which I don't know. It's like. I guess it's a good idea because I'm not like overthinking. Usually, like I prepare the day before, but I still like usually overthink. But now it's just gonna be like, okay, we gotta go home. I gotta switch into my pink outfit. I feel like we haven't done a mukbang together. Oh, we have at McDonald's. We haven't done a McDonald's one together. I mean, it's been a while. Mm 
Because usually I'll be home organizing the podcast and you'll come oh, yeah. with it. Yeah, but we forgot to do that yesterday. Mm, okay. What has been the best part about being married? Mm. You. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, like having you in my life that's the best part oh my god it's fun i think about it all the time i've been getting so emotional lately where i'm just like i can't like <laughs> thanksgiving i'm like oh my god we're together for the holidays like i get so emotional sometimes i just look at him and i think marriage honestly the person gets better i was always so scared my mom always told me she's like you know people change when she get married and you just hear that in general and like i saw it with my mom i saw how her husband's like changed once once they got married it was kind of scary so i always thought that like oh man so it was like scary and i do believe people change once they get married and you have changed like you are just better and better every day like it's just like i feel more and more in love with you every day you know what i mean which is like i didn't even think it was possible but it's just like oh it's actually crazy how every day you try like even harder and more and i don't know it's like i don't know if that's the case for everyone that's married but i just know for you i'm just like wow you put even more effort every day it's very weird i didn't think that was even possible yeah no i mean it's we're a family so it's like i give a hundred percent for you and then we have a baby it's another hundred percent for the baby and then that's what i'm saying now we're as a family as we grow that grows and but even like my mom my sister like you cooked breakfast for them the other day it's just like you really just put like so much effort for like everyone around us and like people that come to our house you just make them feel like super like welcomed and i don't know you always greet people and i don't know you're just like and everyone says it in real life. Everyone says it on, online, but in real life, too, they're like, my dad will always be like, Moses is just so perfect. Like, he makes me look so bad because he's just so perfect. And my dad says that. And you are. You Oh, you cook for my dad when he comes up. Like, my stepmom. Like, you always put so much effort. Thanksgiving, you did twice. <laughs> well, it's fair because we had both your mom and my dad over. And my mom is like, she's a cook. She likes to cook. She'll cook, like, if somebody comes over, she'll cook four main dishes. You know what I mean? Not just mm. one, like, four <laughs> and appetizer and things and so it was funny because my mom came over and we were doing thanksgiving together your dad your stepmom and we were the one hosting we were the one cooking mm -hmm. so for my mom it's kind of like she's not used to that that she's the one sitting down and everyone else is serving the food and cooking and making and you know running between the table and the kitchen right so suddenly she's told me like oh my god usually i'm the one doing all that like going between the table and the kitchen it's like i'm happy to see that you got that side of me that part oh. of me that you know because she hadn't seen that. hospitality is really big you know, yeah in our, in our family and you are so he has he's the best at it like you're very you're the same way you put stuff out for but people it's just the way it is like that's how i grew up somebody comes over like you put food and spreads and and drinks and things like you just i've never seen that like i never that's, so that's why i'm like wow you're so good at this because like one we never had people come to the house but two it's just like i never saw him and Moses is so he's so accommodating you know like one night you made like chicken and potatoes but knowing that like my stepmom likes lamb too like you made that too like he'll make he'll you'll do the same thing you'll make multiple dishes Thanksgiving we did that we did like kosher Thanksgiving and then the non-kosher and yeah it was really fun it was really cool and it was it's just, it feels like family and it feels cozy and I never had like a stable like family get together house spot so it's like we're the house now for that we're gonna be the house yeah, for our kids that's what i wanted to say that the, the yeah that we're the host mm -hmm. we're like the so when malibu grows point. up and now vision they'll know that you know family comes over and people come over and there'll be a big holiday mm -hmm. and there'll be a lot of people and, and they can uh, bring people we home. cook and we make because it's like the person grows up differently when they do that yeah they learn like oh you know we cook and we make and we decorate and we host and, and it feels and, like stable and social being social like that and um and that's the holiday because i remember i mean when i moved here you know until we met i never had like that spirit of holiday mm. being with family or like waking up in the morning of christmas the present on the tree, the turkey, the thing. Mm -hmm. So you only see it in like movies and shows. Yeah. And you always feel like, wow, will I ever have that? Like, will I ever experience that? You know. Oh, I feel so too. Now knowing our mm -hmm. kids will have that. You know? 
they'll have that from the day they were born and that's like, they'll never wonder about that they'll be like oh we live in that movie you know? No, that's how I feel too I always felt that way and like I was always going back and forth like my dad was in California my mom was in Illinois so like all the other kids got Christmas break and they got to just stay home and be cozy it's like we were traveling on Christmas day because it was like a cheaper day to fly and we never got we were, never cooked my dad would just like take us to the store and pick out toys which is like you think it's kind of fun but then no you're like sometimes you just want like presents wrapped up and um yeah I feel the same way and I just feel like lucky that we get to do that and I just love the holidays and I love our house and I love being at home and we love cooking and hosting and I just as cool now we're like that that house so, I don't know. and that's cool that's the fun part about like I mean you can just do that in a relationship too but I don't know just like being married it just feels for for me it feels just like so different like it just it feels better I never I'm never insecure anymore and I don't know if like I guess marriage changed that it's just like it just feels more I feel like more committed aside from all the other stuff you know we I was talking about this with some of my glam people who have been in relationships for like 10 years but like oh I don't know about marriage and it's like really the only thing was like like a hospital you know like if you're in the hospital they don't let you like come see if you're a partner of 10 years they don't come see you or there's someone on TikTok that lost their father and the girlfriend of like 10 years didn't get the house that they were living in because it would it went to his like previous wife and it's just like that kind of stuff is important too I feel like when you have like a life you build together you just want to make sure that but but also just the commitment of it just to say like I've got a husband and, and you are the perfect husband and I'm like shocked every day I'm always like how how did I get this <laughs> I feel that way too I know you do I know because and you're the first person I felt that way because even though you're not like at like no, vocal about you. what how did I get so lucky Oh my god, I do not feel that way. <laughs> you don't feel that way. I feel like you give so much. I'm just like, as a wife, I don't but, know if I'm the best wife, but <laughs> no, but we, I'm loyal. I love you so much. We complement each other <laughs> at the right places. So the things that I do, I don't expect you to do because then it'll be redundant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's no point if we're both doing exactly the same things. So the things that I do, I do because I enjoy doing them and I, I'm good at doing them. You're doing the things that you do because you enjoy doing them and you're good at doing those. So we have... Like getting your ASOs off the chair. <laughs> I will say the hard part about being the wife and the pa the matriarchy of the family is like getting ever all the outfits. Now with the second baby, I'm just like, oh my gosh, just like another outfit I got to get. Because it is kind of hard to coordinate everyone's outfits. Like, I mean, I love doing it, but finding the time to do it too. I'm always like, okay, I got to get up early so I can like look for outfits for everybody for Christmas and anniversary and photo shoots. And well, you know what? My good parts about being a wife is I love you more than anything. I uh, I just love you so much. And I feel like I say it because I mean it, but, like, it's hard for me to, I don't know. No, but you're a family person, you know what I mean? Like, you are you have the opportunity to be out and about every day and be hanging out with, you know, celebrities <laughs> and parties and things <laughs> and doing and, like, your number one choice is always us and always to be with us and be home. Always. And, and you too. You're like that too. And family is your number one thing. So, which, because I know a lot of people that have like a big career and the fame is in front of them and they're like, they want to do as much as they can before they mm. die. So, like in the books of history, they'll be remembered and they care about that more than their own family. Yeah. So, and that's not. That, like, that's not what I wanted or wanted to be married into. So, you know, so you, anyway, I mean, we are perfect together. That's what I mean. It's like, so if I do one thing and you do a different thing, that doesn't take away from me. Well, we texted each other that there was something, I was like, you, like, I'm able to do all that I do now because of you, because like, you've just enhanced my life so much in so many levels. Like, like, it's crazy too. Like, you just think personally, like, you've helped me out, like in life finances saving around the house but also like youtube like there's so many things that he does that like i'm like i didn't know about that you know like ad placements or this or that like he analyzes so much on youtube that i never noticed in my life before and has helped me so much like literally just the past year you've been doing it because i've always been pretty independent with youtube as far as like me uploading and just whatever but now he's helped me like back end stuff and it's like helped so much obviously the podcast all the stuff like that so you've always just like my life's been enhanced in so many ways but also like my career and we always think if i have like well, my goal is to have a talk show on the Universal lot. It's like we already plan it, like going with the kids. Because it's, you know, probably like a four or five hour day or whatever. Go with the kids early in the morning. My dressing room will have like a little kids area too. 
and that everyone will be on set together and like that's how I always see it and I think it'll be so cool yeah and I have a lot of experience in that field so it's nice yeah oh, for, for me sure. the important thing is to be creative so whether I build because I've done set designs I've done because it's only the same world you know yeah you've like toured and your design furniture design set design it's all the same just different purposes and it's more fun when it's set design more fun when it's I think you're so good. It's more creative. You know, mm. It's more fun to go out there. And... I didn't know. And I didn't know that part of you because I knew you were like creative and obviously like an artist and stuff like that. But I didn't know how like good you were like on all creative aspects. So that's been fun doing the podcast together and then hopefully mm -hmm. more stuff together because it's like really, it's really us and obviously Oscar too. But like Moses did like the set and the lighting also. It's like really, really cool. So that's brought this second year of marriage has brought the podcast another baby. We're in year number three. Year number four of meeting each other. We met in 2020, so. Where, I can't wait for the next. We watched The Bachelor and we talk, We hear about those, like the Golden Bachelor and all the women that like, you know, were married 47 years and lost all the life. It makes me cry every time. Like the fact that we could be together for another 47 years and still it wouldn't be like enough time. I'd still be so upset if, so I always hope I go first because I'm the emotional one and I would be just so upset. I know Moses could like handle it better. Especially, oh my God, with my kids and stuff like that, I'd be like, oh man, I'd be such a mess. I'd be like, you guys have to handle this because I'd be such a mess. But you are strong. So that's why I feel like. I well, first of all, our kids will be older and they'll be able to take care of you and take care of things. Well, Suzanne Summers and her husband were 11 years apart and so are we. And Suzanne Summers went first. So she was 77 when she died and her husband is 88 and still living. And they've been together since she was like 19, I think. So. And I always have said, you know what's so ironic about that? I've always said 77 and 88 is what we'll live to because he is born 77, I was born 88. So he'll live to be 88 and I'll live to be 77. I always said that. So <laughs> honestly, I wouldn't mind that. You know what I mean? It's a full life. Like Susan Summers had a really full life. So you know, I'm sure she could have li like lived so much more of it, but she had a good life. Yeah. You have a good career and kids. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to do. We have it right now, so. Hmm. That show is sad, though. Because, you know. Which one? The Golden? Mm hmm. Because they have the love of their lives, and then they, they're they older, and then, like, what do you do now? And they're so sad because the women will be like, people just, you're not, what do they say? You're not visible. Like, people yeah. are visible when they're all. Mm -hmm. you're, no, you're not valued in society anymore. When, and it's like, that makes breaks my heart. And like, I get well, what they're depends. saying, but but if you do it, not right, but if you do it in a certain way, then when you get to the old age, you're not looking for that. You know what I mean? Like you're retired in the best way. Yeah. Like you had a career, you had a, like now you have the time to give back to your family, to give back to the grandkids, to give back to other people, yeah. so whatever. Like it's it's not time to be selfish anymore. I see that with my dad. Like he's definitely just like like loves to just spend like his entire day like playing with Malibu and stuff like that your mom's still really young so she's like going to school mm -hmm. and stuff I mean she's very family oriented but she's still going to school and everything but it's cool to see when they get like a little older they really do kind of like slow down mellow out like to be around family like seeing my dad with like Malibu I'm just like who's this who's this dad going Chuck E. Cheese with her and stuff but it makes me happy I well, get it they know they know what they did wrong with us, so this is their time to make up for it and to enjoy. Yeah, and they don't have to stress anymore about it. Because you enjoy, I don't, there was like a, the way I say it is like we, we raise the parents of our future kids. So what it means like, we have to give our kids great values and, and the ability to be good people. So they will raise our kids. And our kids are the grandkids. And with the grandkids, you get to just be kids. Like, mm -hmm. be fun and enjoy. You don't have to discipline or do any of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like... So your kids really have to put the effort to raise them well. And and then you get the time to enjoy with the grandkids. Yeah, it's really cool to see. Such a... Life is so crazy. Life is crazy. Like when you get like, you know, you get in those deep circles where you're just like, what is the meaning of life? But you do think it's crazy. It's like, it's such a short time we're here. And what is the meaning of life, right? We're here, we're working. We're here to make money, to like have experiences and make memories. But it's like, and then what? 
that's it. Like, <laughs> what's the point of it all? It's so... I don't know. I mean, I spend a lot of time thinking about it. Do you? Your Roman Empire? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a little burp for real. <laughs> Go. I liked what you said. Because I'm like, why don't you keep posting? Because you said you found the meaning of life. I said, so why don't you keep posting there? And what did you say? <laughs> they just have to switch over to this channel and then they see me leaving the meaning of life. Oh my God. That's so cute. But that is the meaning of life, is to live it to the fullest and... Not like the fullest in the, you know, living life to the fullest, but it's like <laughs> living life and enjoying it and giving back. And what was that? What did you just do? <laughs> what does that mean? In my mean? mind, I was thinking... Like the, running? Like YOLO, living life to the fullest. All the people that are like, I'm living life to the fullest. You know, their profiles. And like, you're definitely not. <laughs> maybe they are. Maybe that's living life to the fullest to them. Ours is having babies and making a house. Maybe theirs is... <laughs> Whatever you were doing, running. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well. So, come over here and you find out the meaning of life. And, um, um, wait, I guess. Oh man, what's the beginning of the blonde doll? Blonde doll sun for him. Blonde sundial. Blonde sundial. <laughs> for him. From the blonde sundial for MJ channel. That's where it is. That's the meaning of life. <laughs> wow, babe, I love that. This is the meaning of life. I've never been happier. I'm like, this is why. This is why I'm still here. So many times I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to be in this world. And I'm like, oh no, I'm so glad I did. It gets good. The rainbow. The best anniversary dinner ever. Mm -hmm. Mickey D's. <laughs> On podcast days, I always get fast food, which is been a lot. I should get like a little snack for at home. I could make stuff at home. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we try to get some Trader Joe's stuff. And... <laughs> Every night when we're kind of like a little bit hungry but don't want a full meal, I was like, "You want some frozen food?" I'm like, "No," <laughs> but we bought it. Oh, I picked it out too, but. We used to, that, that's why I thought maybe you wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> because it, 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 it I like used the to idea be the stone hmm? what's it called the pizza we used oh, to make tombstone. tombstone pizza but now we order amici's yeah. so or like domino's flat pizza that used to be the that was good it'd be like coming back from a music video in the oh, middle of the yeah. night that was great we should have a man that guess on deck just as yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. It's where we go through like phases of like, because there was a minute I would make that tortellini a lot. Grilled well, cheese. Well, I think it just the quality of our food has improved a lot, <laughs> so it's hard to go back to certain things. And that's if true. we do, they don't feel the same anymore. Mm hmm No, it's so weird. I was thinking about that with my butter noodles. I'm like, wait a second. I was thinking about that with like my butter noodles. I'm like, God, I really never crave butter noodles. I never want to just make pasta anymore. Because it's like you make such good like big ziti or just like pasta vodka or like bolognese. That's like kind of as fast. I mean, it's not as fast, but it's maybe just like an extra step. I'm like, God, I'd rather have like a big ziti. Because every time we like, food truck, just make lasagna. Okay. Food truck, just make bolognese. Like, food truck, just make lasagna. I'm like, how about an Italian yeah. restaurant food truck? We can make all of them. We can make Man, and yeah. homemade pizza. I'm shocked at how good you are at pasta like you're really good at that like you would think i guess you are italian you're 14 percent italian <laughs> i was gonna say you would think you're italian but i guess you are like you're actually so good at pasta and sauces and i mean my grandfather spoke italian really mm -hmm. oh so yeah i guess you have it in your blood like you're just so good like the sauce is really like a it's really difficult because you have to get the right amount of everything in there i always make mine a little crazy so Yours is so good, and like that's why I just I love it, and I crave it all the time. I think tonight I might have a like ziki or something. That's what I'm kind of craving, because you know we ate our lunch, so we'll have a little more time before the dinner. I got a tan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was, oh, she gets going back. This was such a fun anniversary. We celebrate a lot though. We're like we do our date night once a month, which is basically an anniversary dinner. It's like masters like steak and lobster. So I really meant this year when I was just like hey, anniversary. I'm happy going to McDonald's. And here we are. This is our anniversary photo shoot. On our actual anniversary, December 11th, when you see this, will probably be the magazine shoot that's coming 
Friday. I don't know if I told you this, but they're coming Friday to our house. They're like, oh, can we show you your house? And I was like, yeah. Um, and then they, and then they're like, do you have holiday decorations up? I'm like, <laughs> do you want me to just do a set design for it? <laughs> Which in fact we do, but we did it for because we're doing our Christmas cards tomorrow. So I was like, well. I think it's good. It's kind of wild. So it's, it's wild. It looks like a Christmas tree shop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, babe. That was so good. Um, here's to our second baby, knowing the gender. And you guys will know our first video back in 2024 will be a gender reveal. So you guys will so know. So we're married two years, two babies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we need to slow down. <laughs> we're going to be married the rest of our lives. <laughs> that is wild, actually. Pretty good. Let's see. Next anniversary. I see myself being pregnant like February of 2025. Because I, I kind of want a Christmas baby. Either a Christmas baby or a Scorpio baby. Oh my god. If we had a, a Scorpio baby, it could be called... What a name. Wait, why? So nobody will use it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, I you said to bleep it. <laughs> I mean, I think... I don't think, think anyone, anyone uses her. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's going to take our, our baby names. I'm like, I don't think anybody's going to take it. Because I think in theory people like it, but people aren't like bold enough to go for like names. Yeah, that's what you know. And I get that because it's like, it's a baby you're going to have for life. Like, you know, you really got to be sure. But yeah, and it's like the environment. People are usually afraid of their environment, but people around them will say, yeah, we don't care. No, so no. Like, their environment's going to embrace it. Yeah. They're going to, like you said, the name kind of calls for that. So yeah, I All think right. I even have a shirt that says that. What? A Scorpio King. Really? Oh my God. Wouldn't that be crazy? Actually, that's kind of a cool name. You Do we know what Chinese it is? What? It is a snake. It is a snake? Mm -hmm. So it'd be like me. The I know. Scorpio snake. That's why I was like, if we do have a third, like I kind of feel like that because our next baby is May and it's a dragon and that's me. So it'd be crazy. That'd be so... Well, they're both wood. They're both wood. Wood dragon and wood snake. Interesting. So never know. And we got our tiger. At home. Yeah. <laughs> we got to figure out the flying dragon. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> no, well, you know, when we see the right one, we'll know it. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure we see it. I know. Well, I asked you before. <laughs> I just went and got it. Did I not? I was like, oh, do you think we should do this? So we're a team. All right. Love you guys. Love you. I love you. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. It's very long. All right. So thanks guys for watching. Two years down. Here's to another. Oh, oh yeah. Um, it's very, oh, yeah, it's very wedding portrait. How do they do that? Oh, it's like, oh, my hand's on top of yours. Like, that, how do we do that at the wedding? Oh, it's like let's this. Bring it closer to oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> wow. Those rings are beautiful. Still my favorite thing ever. This is the best. This is the best gift ever. This is the best gift ever. And this is the best gift ever. And you guys are the best gift ever. Happy anniversary. I want to ruin my lips before that.